Remote Web Driver. Remote Web Driver. The remote web driver is composed of two pieces, a client and a server. The client is your web driver test, and the server is simply a Java servlet, which can be hosted in any modern G app server. The server will always run on the machine with the browser you want to test. There are two ways to use the server, command line, or configured in code. The remote web driver server. Once you have downloaded Selenium server standalone jar file, place it on the computer with the browser you want to test. Then from the directory, with the jar run with Java command. The caller is expected to terminate each session properly. The Selenium server keeps in memory logs for each ongoing session, which are cleared. Remote Web Driver It is the client implementation of the remote web driver. Installing it can be done as downloading the Selenium server zip and unpacking it. Put the jars on the class path. Pros Separates where the tests are running from where the browser is. Allows tests to be run with browsers not available on the current OS because the browser can be elsewhere. Cons Requires an external servlet container to be running. You may find problems with line endings when getting text from the remote server. Introduces extra latency to tests, particularly when exceptions are thrown. Remote Web Driver Modes The remote web driver comes in two flavors, as Client Mode, where the language bindings connect to the remote instance. This is the way that the Firefox driver Opera driver and the remote web driver client normally work. Server mode, where the language bindings are responsible for setting up the server, which the driver running in the browser can connect to. The Chrome driver works in this way.